Hello everyone and welcome to another episode of Quick Test Tuesday here on Sparkling Autos. And in this week's episode, I'm taking a look at step 2 from the Autobrake Direct 6 Steps of Detailing Sample Kit, which would be their Citrus Wash Multi-Purpose Cleaner or Pre-Wash product and Purple Velvet High Gloss Shampoo. So starting off then with the Citrus Wash, and the first thing I need to decide is what dilution ratio I'm going to go for. Now given that the car has absolutely no protection on it and has around 6 to 7 weeks of your winter road grime, traffic film and even the last couple of weeks of salt being sprayed up on it, I think I want to go with the strongest mixture possible. Now that being said, the instructions on the bottle actually give two options which could cover this scenario. You have 10 to 1 for degreasing or 30 to 1 for heavy cleaning. So what I'm going to do is go straight down the middle and dilute this at 20 to 1. Well in actual fact, to be pedantic about it, I'm going to dilute it at 19 to 1. It's going to be a one part product in a 20 part solution. Or to put it another way, the entire 100ml sample bottle is going to be mixed in to a total solution of 2 litres. And some of the more eagle eyed regular viewers may indeed notice that this is the exact same type of cheap pump action spray bottle that has indeed failed on me in a previous video. It doesn't stop me using them, they're cheap, cheerful, they do the job especially when you're testing different products on a regular basis, see if there's any cross contamination. I know it probably will eventually suffer the same fate and fail, but if I get 12 to 18 months out of something like this for the sake of 4 to 5 pounds, I'm happy enough with that return to be honest with you. So as usual, as per the instructions, I'm going to spray it all over the entire vehicle, leave it to dwell for 5 minutes and then rinse it off with the pressure washer. But of course I'm not going to make you wait for the entire 5 minutes, so I'll speed the footage up, get my equipment set up and get it rinsed off straight away. Bear with me a few seconds. Once again then using the Ava Master P80. Now unfortunately this is actually only the second time I've got to use this machine because of the bad weather. But there will be a full review coming on it. Once I've had the chance to use it half a dozen times of course. As in not set it up for a light rinse to try and remove pre-wash products. That looks more like it now. And although I've said I will be doing a full review on the machine very soon. My thoughts even after just using it a couple of times are that I'm very impressed with it. But you didn't click in this video to hear me talk about pressure washers. So let's get on with the test in hand. And on initial impressions it certainly seems to have done a very good job but what I'll do is go around and rinse off the rest of the car and allow most of the water to drain off the door. As let's be honest a wet panel is always going to appear clear because all you're looking at is the reflection of the water not the panel itself. And rinsed it off with absolutely no thoughts for the camera whatsoever the lens has completely missed it over and struggling to focus so we'll give that a wipe and then take a look and see what this product has done. So we're looking at a quick before and after, and as I do always like to say, we'll let the results speak for themselves. Now that certainly looks very good from a distance, but we'll take the camera off the tripod and go in for a closer inspection. So bearing in mind that this was just a pre-wash product, diluted at 20 to 1, 19 to 1, whatever you want to call it. No other snow foams involved, no other pre-wash products, no pre-rinsing. And you can actually see the metallic flakes starting to come back out in the paintwork. Even the very wheels look cleaner and they've had nothing else other than the same citrus pre-wash applied to them. And what about the bottom of the rear bumper which seemed to have most of the deposits of the salt and road grime on it? Well if we do take a closer look you can once again see that metallic flake starting to come back through in the paintwork. I think that's done an excellent job. Those yellow dots by the way are just a reflection of the tarmac before anybody points anything out. Now with results like that I would have no hesitation in proceeding with the contact wash. Which funny enough is exactly what we're about to do. contact wash now and we're using the purple velvet luxurious high gloss high suds shampoo. Now the instructions give a dilution ratio of 1500 to 1 or to make it easier for you roughly 10 ml in an 18 litre bucket of warm water. Now I know technically speaking that should actually be 12 ml in the bucket but let's be honest in the real world most of us are going to put a couple of capfuls, a squirt, a splash, a gloop, whatever you want to call it. Because although I am trying to be as accurate as possible here for testing purposes, I can assure you that in the real life I do not get out of 5ml syringe every time I'm going to wash my car. There is a massive difference between testing products and wanting to review them as accurately as possible or just actually trying to enjoy the process of washing your car. But back to the review in hand and the first thing you notice when you start mixing up this shampoo is the smell it gives off. Described by Autobrite Direct as a juicy fruit smell, and that's exactly what it is. I mean, I'm picking up a Parma Violet scent off it, but then again, I'm completely nose blind. It could be a mile off. But whatever the scent is, it's really pleasant, and it's one of those things that could be a deciding factor in deciding which shampoo you're going to use when you're looking at your shelf before you wash your car. And on top of the scent, as you can see when it was filled in the bucket with water as well, it produces plenty of suds too. 
But producing suds and smell nice one thing, but if the product's no good to use, then you're definitely not going to reach for it. But I have to say, from this first contact with the bonnet, I found it an absolute pleasure to use. The slickness certainly did match the sud levels and the scent. In fact, it was so slick I even questioned if I could manage a one-handed pad flip. But I did it anyway. But all joking aside, I do have to say that from the very first contact with the bonnet, right through until the last wipe of the sills, this shampoo was a pleasure to use. The slickness was there, the suds were there, and that scent was there. And the only question mark remaining then is, what's it going to be like to rinse away? Is it going to leave a residue, or is it going to rinse away easily and not leave too much mess on the ground? Well, there's only one way to find out. So I've selected the much softer rinse option on the Ava Vario lamps, and I'll let you see for yourself just how easily this comes off. And you may also notice as I'm rinsed it away that this just confirms what I said at the start that there's absolutely no protection on the car whatsoever. You can see that that water is just sitting on the bonnet. It's not wanting to go anywhere. Now that's going to be addressed in a video in the next couple of weeks. So make sure you subscribe. And of course make sure you click the bell so that you receive notifications for future videos. But back to this one. And as you can see this has rinsed away with absolutely no problems whatsoever. And despite the paintwork having no protection you can see that this pH neutral shampoo has had no impact on the glass scene whatsoever. So that only leaves one question. Now despite how impressed I was, it might shock you to find out that one of these bottles is about to go to the bin. Now it's not going to be the purple velvet shampoo, I absolutely love that product and I'll definitely be using it again in the future. However this bottle of citrus wash, well it's going to join the others in the bin. Not because there's anything wrong with the product, purely just because it's an empty bottle. So what am I going to do then, if I want to test it at different ratios in the future? Well, you just have to get a bigger bottle. And that's exactly what I want to do with Citrus Wash. It's proven that it can handle the heavy dirt, but what's it going to be like as a maintenance product when there's protection to think about? And as for the six steps of detailing kit, well, the next up is going to be step three, which is decontamination. And we're going to have purple rain, if I can grab the bottles properly, purple rain fallout remover. There you go. And just the tonic tar and glue remover. So that's going to be coming up in the video in a couple of weeks. So once again, make sure you're subscribed if you want to hear my thoughts on those two products. But as for this one, that's all I really have to say. Two very good products again. More than impressed with them. I'd like to thank you very much for watching. I'll hopefully see you in the next video. And take care.